Hello everybody, thank you for joining me in this video. It's me Darren and today I'm gonna show you how I made these trinket holders. I made them for my accessories for my jewelry but you can use them for uh, for anything, for coins, for uh, as a vale tray, however you want to use them. I think they're pretty. I had so much fun creating them and they were easy to make. They added more personal value to my wardrobe and it didn't really cost me much. So let's begin. I was in the nursery the other day and I found these terracotta uh, I think they are liners for little pots. So I thought, hey, these are perfect for my trinkets. Be sure to remove all the tags around them, all those little barcode decals. By the way, I got them for 99 cents each. We will be doing some paint job for this project, so be sure to cover your work area. I apologize for the constant change in lighting because I'm using a natural source called sunlight and it's quite cloudy today. I'm going to start by using white spray paint as a base. Any color that you apply to them will be more vivid if you do not skip this step. You can see here how terracotta I mean how absorbent terracotta is so applying a base coat really helps you might even need to apply two or more coats I only applied two and I think since it's just base you don't really need to perfect it Now for the fun part, take your metallics. There are too many options when you go to the metallic paint aisle, but I highly recommend these. The gold one is from Cryolan and the silver one is from Rust-Oleum. They were either from Lowe's or Home Depot, but here's the trick. Always look for the glossy lid, always look for this really metallic looking lid, and you will see the same result when you spray it on. Shake well and enjoy that color payout! Can you see that? I mean, can you see how pigmented and shiny it appears? When using these paints, you only need one layer. Do the same thing with silver and of course, always shake well before you spray. This one is even better, better than gold. I mean, look at that sheen. Look at how, not even metallic, I, I don't even see it as metallic anymore. It's almost like metal, it's almost like silver. Time to let them dry. And when they do, just flip them over and do the same thing on the bottom side. Never forget the sides and check from all angles. I have here a very small amount of water and I am just adding some blue acrylic paint to it. This will help me adjust the fluidity of my design, which is what I'm going to show you now. 
Now it's time to paint the gold one. I'm using two different shades of blue. I am also playing with different levels of opacity by the help of that diluted acrylic that I've shown you. In this part, the more playful and spontaneous you are, the better this would look. I know that right now it looks weird, but trust the process, no need to be serious. You do not need to wait for the blue paint to dry before you do this. Spray a very sheer layer of your gold onto it again. It adds more dimension and texture to your little tray. For silver, I am going to use Payne's Gray. It is very hard to make mistakes when doing this. When you mess up, you can just easily clean it up, but why would you? Spray it with silver. You can see here that I messed up. I went overboard with the spray paint. So right now I'm just gonna add more color again. You can try many different painting techniques when doing this. Actually the less you try to make it perfect, the more perfect it would turn out. Flip them when dry and do the same thing. You do not need to fill in the very center of it because we're gonna do something about that later. It's just so satisfying to see how it looks after you apply that final layer of metallic paint. It kind of looks like a golden blue cheese or like a moldy brie. I know it sounds weird, but it's prettier than that. <laughs> Here is a piece of mock rock leather. This will serve as a cushion for anything that you would put on your tray. Using this varnishing marker, I'm gonna darken the size of my leather. You don't need to buy one. This is very cheap. I got it from the Dollar Tree and it came with three different colors. But if you don't have this and you have like a dark brown or brown Sharpie, you can use that. I wanted to use my E6000, but I couldn't find my tube, so right now I'm just using this tube of super glue. You don't need to put uh, a lot of it, like to the sides, just enough to adhere that piece of leather. For silver, I'm gonna create this. Uh, marblish is that a word like zebra stripes but uh, irregular type of thing it's gonna be pretty I don't know how to call it 
but he'll see. Avoid having equal and perfect amount of uh, paint on every side because that's perfection and we are not. We're totally not striving for that. Those tiny speckles make it look so great. I love how it's turning out to be. Okay, it looks like intergalactic, like from a science fiction alien movie. I also got this mirror from the Dollar Tree. It's a part of a set, so it's less than a dollar. And now it's time for me to break it. I mean, the back of it. Now you know what to do. And I'm finally done! Time to enjoy the golden hour. I hope this video inspired you to create and use your time for the better. Now is the time for you to stop adding unnecessary stuff to your cart and be more productive. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. I wish you all good health and I'll see you next time.